Hello there scientists, it's Pia Science here and today we're going to learn about decomposition and variables and controls in an experiment. Are you ready to rot? I'm wondering about that holiday that happens in October. You know the one where you get to dress up in a costume and go out and collect lots and lots of candy? Well, on Halloween, have you ever carved a pumpkin into a jack-o'-lantern and then let your jack-o'-lantern just sit and rot day after day, week after week, way after all of your candy has been eaten? What happens to that pumpkin? Picture it in your mind. What happens to it when you let it sit out for a long, long time? Rotting, getting too ripe, those are words that we use to describe part of the life cycle, and actually, it's the end of the life cycle. Or is it? Maybe it's the beginning. Today we're going to be talking about decomposition, and we're going to be setting up an experiment where you can look at different variables that will affect the decomposition rate. Now, I don't have a pumpkin right now, but I do have a banana, voila, and it's yellow, mostly, but you see here, it's turning brown. On the back side, it's turning brown. And if you leave a banana out for a good long time, hmm, it gets very brown. And at this point, a lot of people would say, Ugh, I'm not gonna eat it, it's too ripe. Well, what does too ripe mean? What does it mean when it turns brown like this? Or let's say you cut into an avocado and then you leave the avocado out, or maybe even before you cut your avocado, you've let your avocado sit on the counter for too long. What's happening to the fruits and vegetables? What we're going to be observing is how can we make things decompose or rot faster? So in order to compare how fast they are decomposing, we need to be comparing the same things. Let me show you what the setup's gonna look like. So since what we want to be comparing is how fast these things decompose, you want to choose three things that are similar in size and in shape. There were bananas, three blueberries, three similar pieces of tomato. And we're going to try to change one thing in order to see if we can change how fast these things decompose. That's called the variable in the experiment. Notice that I have three similar pieces of fruit or vegetables, and I have three containers that are the same size, and I've placed my fruit at the bottom of these plastic cups. Now in an experiment, the thing that you keep the same, unchanged, is called the control, and that's what you use to compare the variables to. In this experiment, we're going to change the amount of light the fruit receives to see if that changes how fast they decompose. So I'm going to keep all the cups inside, but one I'm going to put in a dark spot, one I'm going to leave out in indirect light, and the last one I'm going to put on the windowsill where there's some sun. Hmm, decomposition. Let's think, scientists. Remember, the control in this experiment is that I'm using three blueberries, same shape, same size, three blueberries, three cups that are the same shape, they're covered, and the variable that I chose is the amount of light that they will receive. So I'm gonna leave one cup on a windowsill where it's sunny, I'm gonna put another cup in a place that's dark, and the third will just sit on the counter and receive indirect light which do you predict would create a faster decomposition rate? Maybe you don't think that it will make a difference at all. Will the amount of light change the decomposition rate? Some things to think about. Now, why don't you go ahead and set up the experiment for yourself and we'll continue to explore decomposition. Thanks, scientists. Okay, scientists, thanks for watching. Did you enjoy that lesson? Subscribe below to see more fun science videos. You can also become a member of PS Science on Patreon to support what we're doing. See you next time.